Hit my hood. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 guys. It's Jungle Friends. It's your girl, V. And this is Willis. And we're back for another episode this week. Woo! Episode 16 on the books. Yes. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this episode. Um, we have our shots poured. You should have your shots poured. This is like episode 16, so that means that you already know the rules. And if you don't, we start off with a shot, we end off with a shot. If either one of my phones go off with value, regardless of the reason, we have to take a shot as well. <laughs> right. Of course, our mixed drinks are already made as well. Um, and with that being said, shots are poured. Let's get it going. Let's go. Let's get into it. All right. Cheers. It's about to be nasty. Mmm. Mmm. Let's get back. Mm-hmm. I know, right? That shape. What is that? Ugh. It's like something to like your nervous system. You just it, it's something. I tell you that. It's definitely something. <laughs> um, so, guys, it's. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This has got to be the Mondayest Monday I've had in a Monday. Mondayest Monday I've had in a very long time. Um, but this is what we come here for. We come to talk it out and uh, make ourselves laugh. Make yourself laugh, yep. and um, we keep on going with the punches. All right, I got a story to start off with that I think is kind of wild. Okay. And I want to see how you guys feel about it. All right, let's go. Got the homie Aaron on the line who is actually a repeat offender over here on Asking for a Friend. Now, if you missed this scenario before that he was married to his high school sweetheart about two years ago, then he started to wander to mm. his best friend. Wait. Who was a guy. Oh. You remember that one? I do remember you, Aaron. Hey, man. Hey, everybody. I, I did hook up with my friend and realized that it wasn't for me. Oh. I kind of want to clear my conscience. No. <laughs> what? A one-time thing and what? I, I don't know. I want, I want to tell her because, like, all of my friends saying that, you know, he won't say anything to her. What if he, like, changes his mind and, like, I think that she would rather hear from me? Uh. I mean, but can you say without a shadow of a doubt, you're never going to have a taste for Almond Joy again? That's the one with the nuts. Uh, at least I know what, it, was, it wasn't for me. I, I, I think I got caught up in something and, like, it just... Nah. Should he say something to his wife or not? 866 Hustle 8, 866 487 8538. We asking for a friend. We, we are the morning hustle. Bro, don't say shit. <laughs> do not uh, say it. It's already bad enough you do it with your male best friend. Uh, so he thought he was having feelings for his best friend who just happened. To, who just happened. That's the part that got me. Who just, just happened to be a guy. No, 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 no. He was a guy the whole time. He didn't just happen to be. He was a guy from birth, okay? He was born that way. He was born that way. Right. Okay? Um, they acted on the urge one time, all caps, one time. Right. And now he's not sure if he should risk losing his wife by confessing that, hey, I did something and it's not for me, but I just wanted to clear the air and get it off my conscience. I, just, I was funny. It was funny the fact the whole, he did a tank. Like, oh, yeah, I tried it once or twice. Not for me. <laughs> I mean, I mean <laughs> so great. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Like jinx. <laughs> I mean, it depends on what type of wife because Tank's still married to his wife. Yeah, 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 I mean, but I think Tank did it before he was married. You know, it was that whole thing where everybody was making fun of him because he said, "Yeah, I tried it once or twice, and I didn't like it." Yeah, yeah, I remember it, but yeah. that still doesn't change anything. It could have happened before. She still could have been like, I think it came out when they were dating, and she could have still walked away. But yeah. I mean, it depends on what type of what type of partner you have. Yeah. Realistically, <laughs> realistically, but like, like I can't like, even trust you around your friends. That part, not even your male friends, is like that's that's supposed to be y'all safe space, right? Right. Where you're like, oh, I'm just going out with the boys. Ain't gonna be no bitches. Ain't no hoes. Just my boys. We all gonna be hanging out, probably you know. gaming, catching up, being at the bar, drinking, whatever. And then whole time you right. was like feeling one of your boys, like. Right. You know how much that would break down for a woman who like that. That's a, that's oh, I would you never. Play video games, getting man, you was having fun, huh? Uh, the but best like, of both worlds. Over, I guess so. I guess so. All the times you like, oh, I'm going over to homie house, thinking that he's staying out of trouble because you know Brent going to keep him on the, on mm -hmm. the right path, but you didn't know what path that was leading to. And then also, why would he think his best friend about this snitch woman though? Too, because he's like he he said he wants to tell her. He so wants he to had say a clear conscience. It's not that the best friends want to snitch. Yeah, had a conscience when you was fucking him. Mm. Now you can't. I mean, I here's mean, the thing. You sometimes gotta, you gotta think about it. Even on TVs and movies, uh, and, on TVs and movies, shows and movies. Guilt can eat at a person for 20, 30 years that they don't tell it yeah. until it's on their deathbed. 
Yeah. Or some people die with that shit. Or you talking about other kids at that funeral. <laughs> That part, but even still, some people hid their sexuality for a long time, even in the past. I mean, they didn't. I mean, even though some people assumed that, like, we knew Uncle George was gay, but you know, he kept it on the DL, so we, we ain't gonna say it to his face because it's disrespectful. But people, you know, but this is a secret that, like, could literally destroy his marriage, yeah. right? Literally, like, it's already bad to feel like you got um cheated on. I don't even know if it happened when they were together. Or if it happened before, I don't know. I gotta go back to the reference of the first story. No, he said he was with his wife since high school, so. It so they have it. Well, then, yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, so my thing is, you know how much that would make how bad she would feel. Here's it. Go ahead. I'm just saying that thinking about as the 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 from her aspect, right? Because when you get cheated on, you already feel shame, you feel blamed, you feel betrayed, you feel hurt, you feel all this other stuff. Right. Then you find out it's from Gary that comes over for Super Bowls, come over for cookouts and shit. It's like, you, you fucking Gary? Right. And then the only thing I could, only thing I could think about is that fucking... You about to say, the, uh, are I you, do's the bend it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I no, does the bend I does the bend it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Janet Jackson, well, if there's ever a role, if there's ever uh, a role they're going to remember her ass for, it's going to be that one. Oh, 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 so, so, you doing the bending? <laughs> and and then, oh, are you getting bent over? I does the bending. But here's Ain't no man bending me over. <laughs> here's the thing, though, too, like, that's the, that's the problem <sighs> within itself, like, you got to know your wife or your partner, because at the end of the day, the, the cheating is the issue. Now, the, the gender... Shouldn't matter, but we live in times where people do give a shit about the yeah, gender. yeah, it's gonna be bad. Y'all already yeah. know. It's, it's. I feel like it's like it makes the cheating amplified. Like even if it was a close friend, like yeah. Um. So you find out that you know, you know, everybody's always cautious about people having friends of the opposite sex anyway, like right. the best friends. So your wife finally, you know, accepted your your female best friend or your male best friend, and then they find out 10, 15, 15 years later, you let them know, like, hey, I, I had to get this off my chest. You know, me and Denise, we slept together. Why snitch on yourself? I mean, because guilt is a powerful feeling. Guilt, guilt yes. can literally make you sick, just like stress. Yeah, guilt, I can see that. It can literally kill you, just like stress. can literally kill you. So all that built up headaches and and looking at your family progress and seeing her happy and all that other stuff and you feeling like the backstabbing bitch that you are like mm -hmm. that shit can build up so i'm not gonna say don't snitch on yourself i'm not gonna say that if you feel like that your marriage can endure this then go for it um that's all i got i'm not gonna say don't snitch i'm gonna say do what you feel is best for your relationship and then I got another question. Is the friend openly gay or is the friend on a double low too? Like, were y'all both on a double low? Good, very, 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 very good question. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Put some new meeting to go play balls with your friend. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I'm just saying. You're childish. <laughs> I think it's just like, oh, I'm about to just. Man. He said that he, he was feeling his best friend. I don't give a shit. I got hope. Well, you know what? Forget it. It. I do think there should be room for men and to women to explore their sexuality and if you don't like it, you don't like it. It's just the fact that when you're in a relationship and when you're married, you shouldn't be exploring it. Yes, I agree with that. Yeah. And then to, to put a, I guess you could say, um, a bullet under that, if you are going to explore and be a cheater, don't let it be in your close circle. Then you always hear you like, don't fuck with your close friends because you can mm -hmm. never go back. Like, this could be a caveat to that. Like, bro. You wanted to try sample some dick samples? You should have went to yeah. somebody else who ain't as close. You know what? Even the bigger part for me, though, is like, yo. Because 9 times out of 10, she know him. So, I'm like, yo, you cheat on, I know this nigga. That's, or I know that's this shit. That's what I'm thinking. Or I know this. Point. It ain't no random. It ain't no random. Like, I think it's worse. I, I feel like I got the right to put my hands on somebody. Just no. saying. Both of them. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> like, if you know me, you know me, Mary, you probably was at the wedding. Would be surprised if he was the best man. Is your best friend? Bruh. Somebody gotta get put hands on. Somebody got. Somebody gotta catch these hands. Bruh. Period. Things to think about. They was broke back mountain. That right. shit crazy. But. And now, like you said, is the best man 
Acting best friend. Sure, is the best friend acting straight? Is he married too? Yeah, we don't know. We don't. Uh, oh, because that could fuck up his shit. But he said he said in the thing that the best friend wants to tell. The, he, he said the best friend said he wasn't gonna tell the wife, but he don't believe him. So it's something up. Something up there. I don't know. How many times did you try it before you realized you didn't like it? <laughs> he said only once. He only did it once. Uh, yeah, and he was like, "Yeah, it's not for me." Yeah. I was like, "Yeah, well, um, but it's." It's the backwards for me. It's like mm. you're experimenting after you've been. But uh, That's I, don't, I, don't, I, got, I got one. What? Maybe he asked her to like peg him, and he wanted to try that because some men are into pegging and, and stuff like but that. But also, that's it. Or dildos. You you've know, been with the same person since high school, so they you didn't really get a chance to explore anything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe yeah. he did try to see if he was into that type of um, annual. annual right anal um stimulation but she wasn't with the shits so he was like all right well and one won't do another will right. i mean and then there was a connection because it's a close friend i, I mean honestly you could have finagled it like if you want to experiment with a guy you should have been like hey babe let's do a three-way with another nigga she probably been like yeah but then she would have flipped out when he he's doing the bending <laughs> or getting bent uh, yeah true. she probably would have flipped the fuck out of that room sure do what you think is best. Like yeah, this, right? I can't. I can't. Believe. I don't know your wife. Yeah. You gotta sleep with her. One eye open. I don't know. Yeah, it's about a person. It's about you being with a person who accepts your sexuality. And I mean, apparently he said he's straight. He just tried some shit. Yeah, but remember that was a whole big discussion. When Tank was like, yo, when he did it, they was calling him gay for doing it. He was like, yo, I'm but straight. But I think if you I'm try gonna... it, you don't like it. You're not gay. That's like when girls kiss girls. That don't mean she gay. She just tried it. First of all, we already know that it's biased when we talk about sexuality and that. That's way. what I said. People should, all everyone should have the freedom to explore. Okay. But if you don't like something, you don't like it. That yeah, means I tried it, but it's not, not me. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. But I just wanted to see what you guys yeah. think about this. Do you think he should tell his wife um, that he's been with? I don't know how old he is. Um, but tell his wife, heart, uh, high school sweetheart, that you know he's you know had an encounter with his best friend on that sexual level even though it's not for him and it's in the past do yeah. you think that he should um tell his wife after all this time and i think that's going to be the part that hurts even worse like you telling me now 11 years later you could have gave me that she was going to she's going to hit the fucking roof bro hell yeah i know i would i ain't gonna hold you you can't hang out with Gary no more but you can't hang out with nobody that's not on trust you. <laughs> you fucking anything. Sounds good. Literally. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it for me. I'm done. All right, all right. I got a story. Uh, I'm a big component on fuck these kids, and um, I saw the story, and just take a listen. Wisconsin is suspected of shooting and. 10-year-old boy in Wisconsin is suspected of shooting and killing his own mother because she would not buy him a virtual reality headset on Amazon. At first, police ruled it accidental, but other family members contacted them saying they suspected otherwise. And the boy used his mom's Amazon account to buy the headsets the next day. Police say when they questioned the boy a second time, he admitted to shooting his mother on purpose. According to a criminal complaint, the boy's grandmother says that he told her he was sorry for killing his mom and then asked if his package had arrived. Ten oh boy, Wisconsin is a <laughs> I'm sorry. Because somebody died. All right, I feel bad. Well, fuck these kids. The niggas, he killed his mother. And all he worried about is they got his, well, you're about to be in jail. You can't get your Amazon packages in jail. <sighs> I don't know. They ain't going to send them to juvie. You lucky if they don't try your ass as a dope. But over a VR set, Hey, yo, I know I'm about to be, I know I'm about to go away for life, but did my set come, yeah. was that no, Was that UBS, the UBS outside? No? All right. Grandma, I'm sorry for killing mom. Did my package come? No, not yet. Dang, <laughs> it's been delayed. Yo, fuck these kids. Bro. Let me have a kid to try some bullshit like that with me. Mm. That's going to be a different fuck story. Mm. Bro. How old was the kid, did they say? Ten. Ten? Bro. Ten year old. That's when you raising a psychopath. But like you still just killed your mom just Just because you didn't get what you want. Not knowing. You still got it. Not knowing that she could have got it for you for Christmas. Christmas is coming up. Christmas is coming up. That's what I'm saying, like bruh. You know what used to happen? When I real story. <laughs> real story. 
So, I don't know if you remember um, your guy. I don't know if y'all really played with them when we were little. But it's this little hand robot thing called Gigapet growing yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, And you used to, and like, have a pet. You know those? Yeah, you, yeah, you would have to, uh, like, feed it every day, mm -hmm. put it to sleep. It was a little thing, right? Um, so, I asked my mom for it, right? My, you know, you know school starts around. At that time, you used to start the first week of September. Now, it's fucking July these days. Right. But, um, back then, so I asked my mom for one around, like, October. She said, no. Um, can't really afford it right now. We'll we'll see what your grades look like. Whatever. I said, okay, cool, whatever. Mm -hmm. So grades came out good. You know, first well, that trimester, whatever. Um, and, trimester. Yeah, trimester. Semester. Yeah, first semester, whatever. And looking good. I just had like maybe one or two Bs or whatever. Uh -huh. She was like, I was like, my can I get the gigapet now? She was like, uh, no, not mm, no V. You already got this. You know, you really don't need it. You just want it because all the other kids having it all right so i was like you know what fuck this i feel like i'm not getting rewarded i'm out here getting all these grades so i stole little girl's nigga pet because she left it it's not my fault she left it. mine now north philly um she left it on her fucking desk shout out to the girl with cleveland elementary school uh left it on her desk so i definitely swiped that bitch and walked out Right, swipe that bitch and walk out. She was just out. asking for it to be taken. That's how I saw it. That's exactly. It. I thought it was lost, and I found it, and it's now mine. Right. So my dumb That's ass. Very white of you. <laughs> you discovered it. I discovered it. Colonized their ass over Giga Pets. Um, oh, which I got a story to tell you. <laughs> okay. Anyway, after, <laughs> after. So um. Anyway, long story short, I go home and I'm playing with the Giga Pet, just, da -da -da, just playing with it. And in front of my mom's face, she was like, Misha, uh, where'd you get that from? I was like, oh, the teacher gave him away. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> Kids a lot of words, yo. She gave him away at school today. Uh, she was like, your teacher gave you that? I was like, yeah, right, yeah, she gave it to school. We all doing good. She gave it to school. I called her teacher that day. I got one of the worst beatings of my life. First, because the girl was crying, went to her mom saying she lost it, crying, whatever, whatever. And my mom took me to school the next morning, turned it to the teacher. Then she said uh, that my, I wasn't feeling well. So when I got home, I got my ass beat for stealing, for lying. Wow. Stealing and lying. Why not? That's like October. Come Christmas, guess what I had? A gigapet. A gigapet. She was like, I shouldn't give this to you since you lied and stole. If you would have just waited, blah, mm. blah, 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 you would have got it. And I was like, yeah, 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 give my gig back. <laughs> yeah, 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 give my gig back. But so I said, you, I said, you all this back to the girl? Yeah, my mom did. My mom just took that gig back so fast. Right. And we gave it back to the girl the next day. Um, But I said, all I had to say, I didn't go like try to kill my mom. My mom beat my ass, okay? Right. My mom beat my ass. I was like, yeah, no, I'm. In my head, I'm like, I can't wait till I get old enough. I'm running away. I'm getting all the gig beds on one. Yeah. Ah, crying into the pillow so they don't hear you telling them off. Ah, but never in my head. It's like, it's, it never comes in your up. mind. So, oh, you should go kill her. I'm going to kill my mom. <laughs> <laughs> never comes across your mind. Like, that's not how we're programmed. We're just like, we're oh, mad. I didn't even say if they were black or white. Oh, I should have looked that up. Yeah, I doubt they're, they're black. I doubt he's like. Well, no they're not gonna release the it. name of the kid because it's a kid, though. You know. They yeah, but like they can release. The they can release the mother's name and what sure. she looked like. Sure. But ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. It ain't black. I, I'm sorry. That's and really if it is, I will put a bet on it. It's not a black kid. It's every other race except for a black kid. I assure you. <laughs> but never did it come across my mind to be like, oh, about to kill this. Nigga. About to kill my mom. What? Kill? Look, nah, I was I scared to call nine one one on my yeah. mom. Scared as hell. These kids ain't scared anymore. These kids ain't scared. They was like, "Oh yeah, Clarice, I can't, I can't have." Oh, all right. I remember I threatened my mom one day to call that one. She was like, "I'm gonna break your fucking fingers." <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, never mind. I didn't even never asked about it. Bro, I have never even mouthed it, whispered it, because it was no, it was no way. Because you know, as I grew older, I've noticed my mom really didn't like being me. It was she. That whole expression, it hurts me more than it hurts you, uh, that shit used to blow me. But it did affect my mom to do it. Because, you know, she was a single mom. She's like, I just, you know, that the, the slogan, if you lie, you'll cheat. And if you cheat, you'll kill. Yeah. You're still, and if you still, you'll kill. Like, it was this whole thing. And she was like, nah, we getting that out you early. You right. ain't no thief. Because even though mom may not be able to provide, you're going to have what you need. And I'll give you some of your ones. Yeah. You know, not all, but some. Right. And, 
you have to realize if mom is going without, then that means you got to go without as well until, you know, we get better. Right. Life lessons. Yeah. But never in my life, bruh, never kill. Yeah. I would be dead before I even rose my hand. It's a mom gun, too. Like, yo. Bruh. That's how you know you're raising a psychopath. These kids don't give two fucks. And then where you gonna go after you get out of jail? Because he probably, nine times a ten, they're gonna send him to juvie. He'll probably get out when he's 18. You ain't coming to grandma house. Don't, don't think that. There's another case I can't remember exactly. I mean, it's I state by state. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a kid, a ten-year-old kid, that then killed his parent, and they putting him in adult prison. This boy, mm-hmm. this little boy, and Where everybody's like, "Shut the fuck up." <laughs> it's true. It's true. I don't know. I don't know the race of that kid. <laughs> I'm not charging you as adults. You, you black. Everybody's like, "Yeah, I understand what he did. It was wrong, but." He's a child, and you put him into adult prison. That little boy. Psychopaths could be at any age. Psychopaths can go into a, a psychiatric a, a hospital. Like yeah. he could be admitted, but fuck, in there with m- crazy murderers, rapists, and all that other shit. Yeah. For a ten-year-old boy, he won't be. Up. He won't be tore the fuck up before yeah. he even get turned to a eleventh birthday. Yeah, that's a no-go. Robin is scared straight. Remember all them with the programs? Time? Yeah, all them programs. Bruh, they used to eat those. The, the, oh, they were VR cool. set. Them things expensive too. They are. So I, 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 as a like, person wait. who's bought one for their for their partner, it's like three to four hundred dollars. Yeah. That ain't no. I mean, I don't know if this one was a single mother or not, but that ain't no e- easy purchase. I'm just not buying it off Bert. Yeah. You no know, easy purchase, but I pray. I'm praying for also, the family yeah, to recruit grandmother. And then the fact that the, he asked grandma, yeah, I'm sorry I did it, but what about my set? Bro, I would have smacked the shit out of him. Yeah. Then they would have had me in handcuffs for abuse. But also, you've always I'm, learned, like, now that I'm thinking about it, like, the expensive shit that I really, really want, you say those for birthdays and uh, Christmas. And how Not yeah. a no, regular Tuesday. No. You would have, just because it came out? No. Literally, uh, my fiance's daughter um, got straight A's. Mm. And we, what she wanted was some Roblox, which, you know. The game? Kid, yeah, the Roblox, like a credit, like a. Oh yeah, it's not to play the Roblox. It's like a, a gift card, right? Mm-hmm. So I was like, we was in Target. I was like, all they only got is twenty five and fifty. I was like, no, nah, I'm not giving her that much. I mean, it's just you know straight A's. She wanted um, some McDonald's and she wanted, so we're gonna give her a digital ten dollar Roblox. And then come Christmas, we probably get her you no know, twenty five or fifty. Yeah, right. It. So you can give stuff to celebrate the accomplishment mm-hmm. while putting the bigger stuff for later on for. Mm-hmm. Christmas or birthday, yeah. you know stuff like that. But I mean, that's just how I, I feel like I was raised too. Oh, well, you yeah. got my, my my mom's thing with seafood. That's why I love seafood so much now. And mm-hmm. hey, you got straight eggs. What you want? I want some crab legs. She was spending forty dollars on crab legs and shrimp, and we would watch Law and Order SVU until one two in the morning. You know, Aww. it's the little the yeah. little things. But I can't be like, Mom, I want a PlayStation Two on a random right. September thirteenth, and expect that shit. In two days. Granted, we didn't have Amazon Prime back then, but still, she could have went to Walmart and got it. Yeah. No, that was a Christmas ask. Mm-hmm. Even now, the kids ask for the big shit around Christmas. Yeah. Birthday. That's like that's. Uh, well, maybe I think this little boy probably needs like some type of psychiatry, like you say, because everything. Jesus. Everything that within the story, it sounds very intentional. But, like you get my headset? No. I'm gonna, oh, go, all right. I'm gonna go get the gun. Oh, all right. I kill you. You said no. All right. Then I take your phone. I got still order the shit. I got something for that ass. So yeah, that's fucked up. All right, I got to sweet. <laughs> you fuck these kids, yo. <laughs> oh, oh, you you want me to go? Or you go. I got one. All right, go ahead. I think this is the right story. So don't count against me if this is not the story I'm looking for. Because I want to find another one. All right, let's listen to this. Blair Underwood, back in the middle of 2021, him and his wife of 27 years divorced. Even crazier, Blair Underwood reveals that he is now engaged to his friend of 41 years. Ain't no f***ing way. She's been in the picture the whole time. I was aware of her. We probably all hung out. And now you're engaged to her? Let me tell you something. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> if I wake up 20 years from now and look at my best friend and be like, wait, it was you the whole time? I will f*** around and marry them in a heartbeat. And I won't give a f- Who's hurt? Sorry.
Mm. I, I, if you wake up after 41 years, <laughs> then that's but not even friendship. This, oh, he might not have been looking at her like that. She either been loved you, you been loved her, or y'all been fucking with each other. Maybe neither one of them were compatible then. And as they've gotten older, now they're like, oh shit. And this maybe wasn't his best friend. This might have also been somebody that maybe didn't have a chance to even consider it or explore it until or now. Maybe Listen, if this life. was a Hollywood story, we'd be there crying like, oh, they finally got right. together. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the one I wanted. Um, so, I'm gonna take this heart off so you don't get it mixed up. No, take it off. Take it off. Thank you. All right. Um, so, synopsis Blair Underwood was married for 27 years, uh -huh. got a divorce, ended up marrying his best friend of 41 years um, about a year or so later. And it's like, how would you feel if, my, you know, they've been around each other? Right. Like, how would you feel as the spouse, the ex-spouse? Would you feel like yo know, that they probably was doing some shit behind your back? Do you feel like there was always love there? Do you feel like, like how would you feel, especially if you, because I feel like it hits people more when people are single. Like yeah. if he moved on and found somebody immediately and you're still single, you know, yeah, getting past. Because that's 27 years. I can't see myself, even though, uh, being in a relationship for five years, I can't see myself getting in a relationship in the next year. I would need time to like one heal, have my whole phase, do me. Like I would need to build, get, go through my transition of getting back to single V, you know, like savage V. I wouldn't be like going right. back into another relationship, dating to get back into another relationship to then get married again. Fuck no. See, Fuck nigga. Three. One. You stupid. <laughs> I see. We got, I, I think I would have to understand the context of the relationship because I can see myself doing that. Me and my f best friend, we're platonic, never done anything. But like, if we're old and just want to be married, just to be married, and she can do whatever and I can do whatever, I can see it. But see, that's more like an open relationship. Yeah, that's I would do marriage. that with my best friend because we understand each other. Mm. But I wouldn't be. I, I couldn't do that with somebody I actually love or care about, like in that way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel yeah. You. But. So, but how would you feel as the spouse who um, I mean, is be being heated. divorced by? I'd be heated. I mean, I can see how she thinks that something might have been going on all along, but maybe it wasn't. We don't know. Yeah, so the part I want to bring up, too, is the fact that she, she said maybe there was nothing going on. It's just the fact that they've now grown and maybe they're now compatible now that they're older and they've had their own either. experiences. So, like... I mean, I believe Blair Underwood's in his 50s, maybe even in 60. So that's not the same person that I was when I was in the 20s. But I you know they've been best friends 41 years, right? Yeah. So clearly 20-year-old Blair is not the same 60-year-old Blair. Right, that's like, they're probably just two old people. Like, look, I ain't going to find them. Do what I want. You do what you want. We're just going to get married for paper. Or what if they're truly in love? And That's just, crazy if they're truly in love. That's what I'm saying. We, we're... We, it's, it's it's actually kind of sad to think that people are now just getting married so they can have freedom with other people instead of hey I found my true real love second time around just so happened to be my best friend. That's like a, that, that sounds that, some, some very bu bullshit. Like, and that's what they said. The thing they said they said if this was the whole time. right they said if this was a movie we would all you know be exactly. all like oh my god this is so crazy what's that movie? she was there the whole time yeah yeah she stood just had a look. look yeah you just had a look. 41 years of looking, bitch. I've been looked and found someone the fuck else. Facts. But I just wanted to know how you felt because I, I know me. I would, the whole emotional roller coaster of yeah. anger, of frustration, of betrayal, of feeling stupid, not, you know, why didn't I see the signs? Mm -hmm. Or is it me? Or this bitch been lying to me. He probably cheated on me. It, it's so many fucking things you would have thought about. Right. Um, blaming yourself. Mm. Blaming them, uh, like it's it's that's exhausting. That, yeah, 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 it's exhausting. I can see how she would feel some type of way. And then she was like, "If I found my my man, that's my my love, of my life for real." After forty some years, I don't care how nobody feel. And I'm like, "That's, that's rough. True. That's rough." Like, would we be having this conversation was vice versa. Like she just married her best friend. I know I would because men who feel like they've been betrayed. They do some wild, crazy shit. But if I'm divorcing you, if now we, did they say he got divorced because of the wife? No, they just got no, no. Okay. They got divorced. They got divorced. Okay. They got divorced. Because I feel like all of us had that little pack, especially in our twenties. We're like, yo, if I'm forty and you're still single, I'm single. I'm getting married. Like people say that all the time. Yeah, I had one. I think it was. Uh, uh, yeah, so, I had a couple. <laughs> yeah, you had a couple. Wait a minute, no. Oh, <laughs> uh -huh. 
I'm gonna I'm drink on that. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm married now. Happily married now, so they didn't work out. It's cool. <laughs> so, I know I had I had a pact with somebody. I was like, yo, if I'm not married by the time I, or if I'm not in a serious relationship or married by the time I'm 30, then we're just gonna be together and I just wanna have a baby and be, be like like you said, get married and we do whatever. Yeah. You know, try it at, at a good thing. Um, just so happened, it just didn't plan out. I was like, hey, everything happens for a reason. And right. now that person, he's married, and then I'm on, I'm on the track to be married. Right. So it's like, hey, but I had a plan. Right. You know, because in my mind, I, in my, you know, I did this when I was in my early 20s, right? Yeah. In my head, I was, I was going to be a lawyer. I was going to be a partner at a law firm. I didn't need somebody to be really, you know. Take care of you. Take care of me. I'm like, yo, we can do whatever we want. Have some kids. You do you. You just don't bring up the back of the house. We're good. Right. It was light skin blue. I'm like, we're going to have some pretty ass babies. We'll pop them out. We're going to do it in deuce. But God didn't see so for it to be that way. And that's perfectly fine. It's just the fact of I don't want it to be like, um, see, that's the thing. All my male best friends are like my niggas. Like, I, and like I don't see them in that okay. manner, and that's the, that that's the part that I'm like not understanding. Like if the role was reversed, I can't see myself dating one of my male friends because I I, I once y'all become the one that love me, y'all ugly. Like <laughs> no offense, not to be you know, you're annoying, you're ugly to me, and I, not because they are ugly, because there's no way any female will be like yo. Your friend Willis, I love my yo. Chill the fuck out. Only person to call him ugly is fucking me because I'm his friend. You're not gonna tell me. like I. Cause that's my friend, you know what I'm saying? And that aspect, you know, <laughs> or they're trying to sell it to any of my male friends. Shout out to Yates, Joey, and like none of my friends are ugly. And if you say so, you ain't saying it around me. You right. know what I'm saying? But I'm not attracted to them in that sense. I'm like, ew. Yeah. Joey, no, that's like my brother. Ew. Why? Why would I do that? Why? Ew. But also, you know, the thing we we're ignoring too is the age. I think after the older you are, the more practical you this are. This man is about to be. Let me look right. at how old. Let me look how old. No, he's about to be sixty something. I'm, I'm not in 60. My head, I'm thinking he's I'm 60. not about to search for love. Hey, best friend. <laughs> What's up? I fucking can't say you a best see, friend. Yo, sixty, you think different. Yeah. He has three kids with his wife, with the oh, ex-wife. His kids are both. So he's fifty-eight. Yeah, you, you think That's more practical than anything? So. He's about to be 60. You ever talk to a 60 year old person? 41 years? Practical. That mean he knows his best friend since he was 17, my guy. Since he was 17, before he was the Blair Underwood. Before he was the heartthrob, before fucking Morris Chestnut. He was. Bruh, that shit, that, that got it. That's gonna stink. That sting a little that, bit. That, and I used to, a little that, bit. Like, oh. ah, ah. Hey. Bruh. Man. That's bad. That's the Tyler Perry movie. <laughs> It's coming out in 2026. <laughs> right. And if it does, yo, you heard it here first. Tyler Perry, give me my coins. Mm -hmm. You know, he ain't gonna hear me. He ain't gonna hear that me. That is hear me. fucking crazy. Because you got my Blair Underwood. It's I feel like bad the, for it, though. He was like the heartthrob of oh, the fucking... Oh, how old the youngest? The youngest kid? Yeah, because you, uh, you know, most people... Now, if the youngest like 18, just turned 18, they probably was together just for the kids. Give me oh, one he second. Was waiting. I'm looking. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. But the, the, he's talking about that. I'm not talking about that early life. Mm. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, shout out. He went to school in uh, Pittsburgh. Hello. Hello. Y'all just, uh, oh, yeah, won again yesterday, too. Oh, I know. You don't got to tell me about my team. I, mean, I can tell you about that one. Lost. I can tell you about uh, y'all tie, which was stupid. <laughs> I was so, mad at that tie, too. I was like, I was so hoping Cowboys beat y'all. Like, you mean New York? I mean, I mean, Giants, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cowboys game was crazy, too. Man, I, mean, I was I questioning admit, myself. Though, I was like, yo, is Dallas really this good? They're not. They're not. I was just like, what the fuck? But I will say that um, it was a good a good uh, stretch for our uh, division yesterday. It was now, a pretty I think we about to make history, because I think they said this is like the first time in a long time, I think the first time ever, where all of the NFC East can go to the playoffs. Like, there's never been a situation when the whole division goes to play. You know, it's always like one or two get knocked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They talking about everybody because the rest of the NFL is trash. They talking about everybody can go. Don't worry about the age. No, I got it. It's 24, 22, and 19. See, he waited. That one turned 18 and he was yeah, out. Blake, Blake right? is 19. They do that all two, the time. He has two girls and one boy. You wait for the youngest to turn 18, you out. 
That's me. That lets me. That, that that also tells me that it might have been some stuff behind the scenes in the marriage. And not only that, here's the thing: if they had like one of those tumultuous like relationships or marriages or whatever, if I'm divorcing you, I don't give a fuck who you dated. Twenty-seven years, yo. That's fucking crazy, bro. Yeah. But you know, some th stuff like that. When it's been twenty-seven years, I can I say maybe the past five, they were trying to fight to make it work. Yeah. Like. Not just because of kids, but maybe she because probably of get alimony out of it. Anyway. I mean, she of course, is. twenty-seven years. Why shouldn't she? Oh yeah, yeah. I had three young kids. I get the young. I, I ain't got to pay child support. I'm, then, I doubt she worked. So you know, he got child the alimony. Support, child support uh, lasts even longer if the kid is they go to in college. college. Yeah. All right. So for that nineteen-year-old and that twenty-two-year-old, mm -hmm. God forbid. I'm not God forbid, but uh, masters extended. Like they just gotta keep on continue. Yeah. But it's not like Blair Underwood is broke. broke. <laughs> That's about it. to say it. It's not like he broke. It's not yeah. like he's not going to get booked. Granted, the, mo the most highest paid gross actor right now is Dwayne Johnson. The Rock. I, I was about to say The Rock, yeah. Dwayne Johnson is the most highest paid gross actor of 2022 and mm. 2021 and 2020. Right. And Black but, Adam was even all that. It was okay. It yeah. was okay. Um, But that's not the point. It's the fact that everyone loves him yeah blair underwood he not saying he's past his time but people know him right like me and my fiance we talk about like right now if you would grade a blair underwood would you say he's a a-list actor or a b-list actor i personally feel like he's a b plus yeah i'd say b plus i would say b plus because it wasn't he famous from Grey's anatomy or something else i don't know i never watched I mean, I watched Great Anatomy, but I'm like on season seven, and it's like 22 seasons, so yeah, that tells you what. But no, he's known from like all the black movies growing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, um, and I no, was he was on he was on the stories. Yeah, she's pretty. Yeah, he was from the he, he used to be on the stories growing up. Like, that's where I remember well, the like, stories, like, like, like uh, the, things of our lives. Yeah, and like shit. shit. Yeah, that's where I think he really blew up, and then he started doing. Uh, he was in Set It Off. Remember, mm. he was the one that was trying to get a uh, um, what's her name? What's her name? Well, it's my Jada Pinkett yeah. out, the, out the thick of it. On oh, anyway, I said all that to say, guys. I'm not saying to disregard your happiness, but think about how shit affects the other person. And then if you don't give a fuck, you don't give a fuck. But I can only imagine what this wife feels. Oh, he wasn't said at all. Yeah. Deep was, Impact. Damn, Medea's Family Reunion. He's yeah, been in a lot of shit. He got a, he, a lot of black movies. A lot yeah. of black movies. Um, even right now, he would be if. Oh, he has a Grammy. I ain't know he saw or did music. Yeah, like bro, my man. You know, oh, sidebar. You know who's doing music and is blowing up for some fucking reason? Ti son. No, Idris Elba. Uh, I know, I know he was a DJ. I ain't know he's. Uh, <laughs> but he's cutting his own drop. He's rapping. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, bro, this man, and it's going crazy overseas. Oh yeah, they love UK Beatles. and shit, bro. Right, yeah. hey, and his wife is gorgeous. Shout out to another black woman. Yeah, she's gorgeous. She bad. Yeah, she bad. Um, anyway, a couple of tangents, but yeah, I just wanted to see how you guys feel about this. If you found out your partner, I can only imagine. Even if you weren't married, I know if I found out, <laughs> my fiance is in love with his female best friend, who I know, and she's really cool. And she's married now. She's got married this year. If I found out after all this, that's who he decided. She gonna see me. She gonna see you. She Even after you got divorced, would you really care? Yeah, I would care because I feel like y'all played me this whole fucking time. So, would you rather be in a situation like the Blair Underwood, or would you rather be in a situation where your uh, your man just tried it once or twice with his best friend? The Blair Underwood. <laughs> most, definitely, most definitely. Most fucking definitely. I don't know why that was even an option. Like my guy. Oh no 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 no! Oh man. Anyway, but yeah, y'all let us know. You know I'm gonna post a clip, and y'all gonna have to comment below. All right, all right. All right. Well, that's what you got. All right, it's my last story. Um, Glorilla, fuck Nicole Free. She's blowing up. Sign the yoga Shout out to Glorilla. She got she got some, her album actually good. Have you listened to it? Nope. I like it. It's catching. Um, artist new artists got it. I need to hear more like two or three singles for them to grow on me. That's just she me. She got like three out now. The only one I know is fucking your freak. She got that oh, one. Oh, and then what's the one with Cardi? She got the one with the Cardi, and then she got the, uh, um, I might do something tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's called know. Tomorrow. No, that's the one that's with Cardi. Tomorrow's with Cardi? Yeah. Damn. And then it's the remix with Cardi. Okay. There's the original Tomorrow, and then Tomorrow with Cardi. 
So, uh, Gloria, yeah, she so. took to her Instagram account and decided to explain to us why she thinks relationships should be 50-50. Take a listen. Blur, what is the topic on the 50-50 with a relationship? Me, personally, I feel like you're supposed to go 50-50 with it because it just get you to the point where like you just feel like you don't got to do nothing. Like, he going to make you lazy. And as a woman, you should want to have your own going you shouldn't want it to be where to leave you today he was paying all the bills and now you got these weight on your shoulders you shouldn't want that like you should be able to like feel like okay if you leave i'm good if you stay i'm good like either way i'm good like and you should want to be a team like the more money y'all make the, the more money y'all make the more get done like if he just buying if he paying for everything don't you want gifts sometimes? Don't you want to value some sometimes? Like, and don't you want to buy something from him? I just feel like it should be 50 feet. Like, it's a team effort. So, first of all, I didn't realize she's pretty like that. She what? She's pretty. Um, Glorilla, what do you think about it? Should relationships be 50 50? Um, I don't think so. Um, I like her logic though. Yeah, I mean, like we both bosses and we team up together. Yeah, I agree with the logic, but I I feel like that no relationship is always fifty fifty. I mean, yeah, I get that part. That's what I'm saying. Should it be? It depends on your dynamic. Yeah, of the person you're talking to, because some men love to cater to women. They want to mm. feel like they they big big papa. You know what I'm saying? All right, dinner's on me. Your rent I'm paying for. Your car I'm paying a note. Da da da. I'm I, like a shitty daddy. I mean, no, I knew a, um, which ended up being toxic, but I knew a, um, an African guy that was dating my friend back in my college days, and she, she he didn't have, that African. <laughs> so I mean, he's African, but he's not like old school African, okay. he just was like, he was here, he's from PG County, but he was just, I'm just saying he's African, and some of the ways he, he liked to take care of a woman, and mm. the lifestyle of how he provided, that's why I brought up his actual, um, background um so like he he put the car he did put the car in her name but he was paying all the notes he put the apartment the department was in her name but he was paying yeah. for the mortgage because he had just got here so he was trying to get his stuff together right. but he was taking care of all of it like all the money she didn't have to pay for shit he, if she wanted clothes she wanted to go out and eat he was paying for it all cat all of it right not drug dealer just uh, doing stuff with the family business he was getting paid or whatever right and um it was when a point where she was like yo i feel like he's really like um possessive um and i want to leave him but she's like even now to her being in dental school it's like i want to leave him but i can't because if he leaves i got all this in my name how am I going to take care of the car? No, how am I going to take care of uh, that? He might da -da 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 -da. Yeah. yeah, 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 I'm saying. But I'm saying, I said all that to say, even though that situation ended kind of roughly, um, some men like to just take care of their woman. Yeah, they're raised like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're raised that. that way. They're like, you don't know, I mean, granted, it's, I not, a, all the bills. it's not a high percentage. I'm just going to be in 2022, it's not a high percentage of the guys like that. I'm I think it died off with the COVID. I think it died off. <laughs> Well, COVID's still around, never mind. Yeah, I think it just died off. It's slowly progressing. The data is, like, just declining. But um, with that, if you say, hey, baby, we can split 50-50, that may throw that man off where he don't want he don't want you, right? So, but if you are with the with a guy that's like, oh, all right, you take care of dinner tonight, I'll take care of dinner tomorrow night. 50-50, mm -hmm. you're cool. It's, it's all about who you date and what their um, dating style is yeah. or their provider style is, right? Some men love to be with a sugar mama like type of situation yeah. where she's like, I got this, whatever. All them ask you to be loyal to me. There's some mm -hmm. men that are like that. They out there building whole garages, building closets and shit. And the woman is just taking it's the breadwinner and it, it works for them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's all about what you're comfortable with in your situation. Um, yeah. But it would be ideal to be 50-50. It would I be ideal, but... I can't be like, Willis, you should be 50-50. You should be 50-50. You should right, be like, right. no, no, There's no strict set standard of how things should be done. It's all about what makes you happy and your partner happy. I know, it's going to be rough times where it ain't going to be 50-50. It's going to be 80-20. Right. Or it's going to be 100-0. Yeah, or 30-70. Somebody, somebody, job, somebody could like lose that. their job. Somebody yeah. could be in a car accident. God forbid. Like, shit happens. 
Yeah, I'm definitely not fifty fifty with them. I, well, I think we're fifty fifty not in, in the sense of like monetary things. It's, I pay more stuff, but that's because I just make more money. But um, I think okay, she, flux. When I think it's fifty fifty in different ways. Like, like she take care of the house. She might go to grocery store. She might do like other stuff mm-hmm. to make up. Like fifty fifty doesn't always mean financial. And then what I love what what, what Glorilla said was it's a team. I really think I have a team. Mm-hmm. I don't think I'm. She's dependent on me. Mm-hmm. Like if we got divorced tomorrow, she gonna be alright. That part. I'm gonna be alright. That part. Same thing with you. That part. So it's just like I do think I got a team. I don't think either one of us are superly dependent on one another. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's the type of like a relationship I like. I just looked up this girl only twenty two, thinking like that. I like her mindset. And um, side note, you know her uh, middle name? No. Hallelujah. Oh yeah, I did hear about that. <laughs> Yeah, I heard about that. Yo, your mom party super in the church. Or a super sinner. So she was like, God, if I could just get through this. Mm-hmm. And then that was her blessing, baby. Oh. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people named, like, I know a girl named Blessed. Mm-hmm. And she was a miracle baby. So. Well, stuff happened. Baby's name I, I must say, I know a baby named Miracle. Yeah. yeah, shout out to Miracle. Yeah. Um, well, it says it down south. But, um, I mean, not even to mention that my middle name is Joy. So, who <laughs> wears. I don't know where that came from. Fuck you. Wishful thinking. All right, moving on. uh, (laughs) Moving on. But um, I think that yeah, she does have her her mindset on straight for that. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing some new things. Like I said, tomorrow and then tomorrow two is the remix of tomorrow. Uh, Oh, tomorrow two has cards on it. Yeah, and then fucking free. I like even now to like. And even though he probably would detest, well, not detest, but argue with me. Like, when Nicki Minaj first came out, I didn't like her either. Because I was a Missy Elliott fan. And I was like, if you can't mm. be bar to bar with my girl, then what you here for? I was a mixtape Nicki fan. I didn't like it when she tried to cross over. But yeah, a lot of people she did. She had to cross over. She though. had to, right? Yeah. And, to open um, doors. To open doors, right? Mm-hmm. Um, when Cardi first came out, I didn't like Cardi either. And uh, even though people think I don't like Cardi, I do like Cardi. I just want to see her grow. Like... Two or three of her songs kind of sound the same after a while. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, where's your growth? Like, y'all can say whatever y'all want about Nikki, but she done did ballads. She done done pop, rock, Barbie. She done been on, of course, with some of the same. greatest. It's just, just, it's just, I'm looking for the growth and the versatility. And I, I, don't, I don't see it. Cardi, I don't think Cardi, Cardi didn't start off wanting to be a rapper. Like, she but became she, a rapper just because the TV and the stuff. Like, Cardi's a star. She's one of the people that you see, she a star, and she just fell into rapping, I think. I Where think I think Nick, Nikki it. always wanted to be a rapper. Yeah. Did the work. Right. Is I agree talented. With you know and what I'm saying? Thing is, she didn't just fall into it. I think. And I feel like Cardi does it for fun. I yeah, know, 100%. Which I can respect. I yeah, can respect 100%. Doing it for fun. Even on the Meg, like, um, I feel like Meg needs to grow too. Me, in my opinion. Like, mm. Meg's songs. Kind of sort of like the same type of flow, yeah. and and uh, granted, I understand the the legal stuff that's going on behind mm-hmm. where you're like, yo, I'm just trying to lay low and do what I got to do. But even with the, it's like it's it's not giving me growth for yeah. me. It's not even down to the baby. Yeah, growth. No, you're, you're no, you know there's some tickets at this concert, but I went. I heard because she's not rocking. Yeah, you know who else I think is gonna be a good talent when mm-hmm. I, as they uh, get older. Mm-hmm. Um. The girl with blue face, uh, Krishan. The one from Baltimore? No. No, that girl has It's something about her that draws people to her. Now, their relationship is toxic as fuck. I I get it. I get it. I'm talking about her as a person. Yeah, I think she's a person. I'm talking about Cardi as a person. When Cardi came out, I didn't like her because of her. Her personality was like so fucking raunchy. It's like, bro. That's what I loved about it. Of course you do, because you like hood rat shit, right? And I like, and I'm, I'm not hood. I'm ghetto, Tom Tom. But it was just like some things, like yo, you gotta have some type of decor about yourself. Like you out here with Versace designers, blah, blah, blah. there's a time and a place for everything. And when she first came out, I don't feel like she understood that. Yeah. You know, you on know, these interviews and you was like, kind of like, I was just like, yo, that is not appealing. And maybe that's because. You know, our standards of what we think ladies should act like on TV probably had that influence on my view. Right. But, but then, you know, she, she got more um, open to the culture and she she realized how to handle herself. You're yeah, not she got with the right team, I think. Yeah, so she too. had the right team to help clean up her image a little yeah. bit while still being genuine to herself. Yeah. And that's why it's like, okay, boom. Um, and I'm now she's worth a crazy amount of money, too. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, now I feel like 
Nikki needed a better PR team because, bitch, sometimes yeah. you don't have to say everything that's all your fucking mind, right? Yeah. Like, and it comes off whatever view of you being bitter, being old, whatever, whatever. Like, girl, keep your thoughts to yourself. Not saying that you should silence yourself, but some shit just don't be said, even on our level. There's some shit that you don't have to say to your partner, even though you may be feeling it. Yeah. You know, you, just some shit you just want to say. Because why? And right. then when you're on that level, you know everybody named mom. E tonight, fucking USA Today, Fox News, yeah. even CNN is gonna be talking about your ass, even though they're not even focused on podcast. Remember she had one? Yeah, she just had a a, a one year um deal with Apple. Oh, that was just a one year. Yeah, deal. it was okay. a one year deal with Apple, and that used to be the big thing, you know, Queen Radio, Queen Radio, and yeah. she met with people, all this stuff. But um, anyway, I don't know how we got here, but I'm just saying, I'm I'm giving a lot of artists, you know, mm-hmm. um, more than one. Like I didn't like Summer Walker when she first came out. I was just like, girl. Oh, I love Summer. But that, it was like the whole back and forth of being shy, and not shy, and then it was oh, throwing me off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really. like that shit was throwing me off. Like, bitch, are you a performer or not? Right. Or not? She never like, had a boyfriend no one either. The one she oh, got London tattooed on her face. Oh yeah, the one that she got uh, pregnant by. No, she not with London, but she didn't. She got a new guy, and she tapped his name on her face, and people now she's not with doing, that guy no more. People just be doing the fuck. Oh, you know she a rapper now too. People just be doing the fuck anything. Yeah. But, so, I think that was a good place yeah. to stop at. Yep, yep, yep. All right, go ahead and tell us where they can find us. Everywhere. Everywhere. So, you, know, <laughs> uh, you can find us on, most importantly, YouTube. Um, like, subscribe. Um, we're DWF Pod on YouTube. Um, just click the link in the bio. We always post the link. And then um, also, you can find us on iTunes, Spotify, uh, TuneIn, Alexa, Pandora, Podbean, Google Play. We're everywhere. Yeah, um, if you want to come on the show, DM us. You know what I'm saying? We can do some claps. We can do Zooms. We can do in person. Solid at us. And I think that's it. That's everything. Let's take the shot. I'm so ready. I know we started off like, ah. Oh. But yeah. then, you know. Yeah, yeah, but, a little better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I told y'all, the Mondayest, that's Monday, E-S-T. Mondayest Monday. I've had in a really, really long time. And you know what? It is what it is. We we persevered. And yeah, we got today. through it. We got through it. I was it. like, this is going to be a 15 um, minute podcast. If you were in the DMV area... Um, shout out to Plus Ultra Entertainment. They are having a pop up event yep. on December sixteenth in DC from twelve to nine. If you guys want to come out, I'll definitely post it in our story later on this week so we can promote. Tickets are free, guys, on Eventbrite. Yep. Um, and then I think at the door is like ten dollars. So go out and support free, 100%. and then and buy from the vendors there. Enjoy some music, enjoy drinks. I mean, come on, guys, like. Just come out. Yeah. Um, they're definitely um, a big supporter of us, and we're a big supporter of them. With that being said, shot support. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Mm. And we'll mm. see you guys next week. Mm.